Hello everybody, this is Shot44 with uh, Jellyfish Josh and uh, we are trying out the new uh, custom service for Brawl. Yeah, we found a few bugs when we were trying to get it to work actually. Um, apparently right now anyway, I don't know if this is going to be fixed in the future, but right now you cannot like start, you can't like have someone join your match or like see your match unless they're in the uh, character selection screen and um, that, that's only the only time when you can join. If, the, if they're in the waiting room you can't join for some reason because it won't show up on your your menu and then um, it took us a while to get it to work. Uh, you have to make, I think you have to make sure you have that DNS uh, IP address on your thingy or else it won't work. Um, I had to like restart my Wi-Fi a, a few times. Yeah. Anyway, works pretty well. Is it? Bit of lag, jump lags here and there, but I'm not having much of a problem. What about you, Josh? Um, I'm not really having much of a problem either. It's working pretty fine. Good, cool. So I just want to make this video to, pr to prove that it works, and I'm gonna have like a video, a little video after this showing you how to get it to work, because there's a little thing you have to do. It's not hard at all, surprisingly, to, to implement. There's no uh, hack support yet, though. They're gonna do that later. Sadly. I don't like hacks anyway, Shock. You're... Ah! <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna show you how to do the auto patcher for the Wii custom servers so you can play too. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is go to the link in the description of this video, uh, the first one, and uh, click on the link that's in this post on the website um, and uh, to, to, to download the auto Wii M MFI patcher and you want to open it and extract either either download it and save it or open it whichever you do to set to, to you know extract a, a zip file whichever you want to do and uh, take the contents that are in the zip file and put them all in your SD card in the root which means it's just in the SD card it's not in a folder at all it's just on your drive your SD card drive so after you do that then you're gonna go to the next step where you put your SD card into your Wii and well, get on your Wii and go to the Wii menu this will work with Brawl or Mario Kart Wii or anything that has that has online Wi-Fi play. Uh, currently, anyway, I am not sure if everything has been set up for custom servers, but I know that Mario Kart Wii and Brawl has been. There is this website that you need to go to first and put in your friend code and the game ID. Um, if you don't know what the game ID is, just click on the friends friend codes database. Um, for the game, um, on the uh, and you'll see like a list of list of uh, entries people have put in their friend code and such, and you can you can see uh, like th th you might be able to see the game you're looking for and put down the game ID. But for Brawl, it is R S B E, um, and for th that that's for American or U United States version, and for PAL for Brawl, it's R S B P. For Japan, RSBJ. I think there's a Korean one that's RSBK. I don't know. I saw a K somewhere for some reason. Uh, if you want to look up some more, like if you can't find your, still can't find your game ID, uh, search your your the game of your the search the name of your game and uh, type in Gecko Codes and go to the Gecko Codes website and it'll have all you all the all these Wii games listed click on look, look for your Wii game and it'll tell you right next to it what the ID is so there you go and you just put in that and you put in your friend code and then it takes it's like it says it's the top of this uh, top of the website it takes about 24 hours or so for it to uh, register into the custom server so be patient sorry about that you know, I I don't run the custom server, so I wouldn't know why it takes that long. So after that's done, you go to 
your Wii settings. It's a little circle on the left that says Wii and then Wii settings. You go to your internet connection settings. Now, you'll, you're going to have your normal one highlighted. And you're going to go to train settings. And then, um, you want to find this thing that says auto obtain DNS. And uh, on this auto obtain DNS f um, for your uh, internet connection, you might want to make this a separate connection. Like, just do the exact same thing you did for your first connection. And then um, connect to it uh, by click and like choose a different number that than the one you already got, like connection three or one and or two, whichever one you're not using, and then uh, reconnect to it and then go here and uh, go to settings and then uh, auto obtain DNS and then click on uh, no and then click advanced and you want to make sure you have the primary DNS as 176.009.146.163 and then hit confirm and hit save and hit OK it'll say testing connection when it pops up with do you want to update your Wii say no because you don't want it to mess up anything that you have on there that's you know Hacked wise, and then you go back, and then you go to the homebrew channel, and uh, make sure you have your game disc in the game that you're going to play, and then go to it is. This one, we M M F I Patcher. Play games online via this thing. This app will attempt to patch the inserted disc so that it can use the We M M F I a replacement online service following the shutdown of Nintendo Wi Fi um, connection. Very important help for the one. This app is heavily based on brain select. Okay, load. Just load it, and then it'll patch your game disk. My game disk is not currently in the Wii, so it's not going to work. But it should work for you. After it patches it, it'll load up the game. Don't have to press any buttons. Just wait, and it'll be fine. And then you just connect to it normally, and you're good to go. I hope this is very helpful for you guys, and please tell me in the comments if there are any problems at all. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.